So, hello everybody. This is a new little feature I'm doing. I'm gonna try this out. This will be episode one of my mid-morning musings as I drive to the studio to teach. So a lot of people ask me why I got into dancing. So that's what I'm gonna talk about today. This is the first thing. Um, now it started a long time ago, a long time ago, 1980 in fact is when I started to dance. And a little bit of background I suppose, I mean I think I've written about this in a blog post before but it doesn't hurt to do it in a little video does it? Um, quite what on earth is happening here though I don't know, why are you stop this? Where was I? Yes, so 1980, but before that uh, a little bit of background. I was always very sensitive to music and one of the things that my mum used to love to do when friends came over not long after I was born is that she'd play music and a particular song, Bright Eyes, from the film Watership Down. She'd play that and uh, it would instantly make me cry and she stopped the music and then I'd stop crying. So she thought that was highly amusing, which to be honest, if, uh, if Ella did that, responded that way to her a piece of music, I'd probably do the same thing. But uh, yeah, so I was very sensitive to, to music in that particular song as I was a, when I was a baby. And that followed through into my toddler years and that sort of thing. And then as uh, I had two older brothers, an older brother and an older sister, and in the early 80s, of course, you had this wonderful explosion of music. And my older brother was really into adamant and uh, so we listened to Adamant a lot. And on, in those days on Top of the Pops, they'd often show the, the music video from a particular song. And one of those songs was uh, Prince Charming by uh, Adam and the Ants. And I knew the routine off by heart by the time I was two. Uh, and I would jump off the, the sofa at the part where Prince Charming jumped off a balcony onto a, uh, a chandelier, which was uh, quite funny. We didn't have chandeliers back in those days. We had quite a low ceiling. Um, but luckily I wasn't very tall, so I didn't bang my head. So my, my grandfather, my mum's dad, died when I was 18 months old. And we'd often go to the grave with my nan to tend the grave and that sort of thing. And one of these particular, on this one of, one of these occasions, I wandered off. I, as I often did anyway, wandered off and talked to the graves, that's one of the things I did. A bit creepy, I suppose. But anyway, there was this field empty next to where my grandfather's plot was, and I was dancing around. So my mum says, dancing around, moving around, and uh, so it looked like I was dancing. So my, my mum said to me, James, what are, you, what are you doing? And I said, well, I'm dancing, mum, mummy, I'm dancing. What do you mean you're dancing? Well, I'm dancing, the man, the man's playing the music, and he says I have to dance. So my mum's quite spiritual in that way and uh, she, she believed, of course, there was a man there telling me to do that, which, you know, I was a little boy of, of two, dancing around in a field saying there's a man over there playing the music. And there obviously wasn't a man there playing the music, but uh, for whatever reason, whatever, however I saw it, uh, my, my nan then decided to enrol me in classes in Eastleigh. So I started doing da little dance classes uh, in Eastleigh and ballet and tap as well and all sorts of things like that so, uh, because I was just very keen to do as much as I could. So that is how I started dancing back in 1980. Long time ago now. Long time ago. 40 years. You'd think I'd be better by now, really, to be honest, than 40 years of dancing. I would, I would have thought so. Anyway, so there we go, that's how I started. So a combination of a bloke in a field, a graveyard in fact, playing some music for me, uh, and uh, Adam and the Ants, and a bit of Warship Down, all combined to turn me into the dancer that I am today. There we go. Anyway, I think that's probably enough musings for, for one day in the first, first little episode. 
I might try and make it a bit more structured in the future. This might not even ever get aired. It might not ever see the light of day. But if you have watched this and you have listened, I hope you've enjoyed it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thank you.